Hello everybody, and welcome to Lone Oak Farm. And we're up here, we're by the namesake of uh, the map here. Up here by this lonely little oak tree on uh, field 49. And this map is just amazing. I've been messing around with it and everything. It's just so good. I've, I've run into the map board, I can't tell you how many times. It's just really, really good. So I had some people ask me to do a let's play. And I said in yesterday's video that I wasn't. But I was. So I, I just had to get everything kind of sorted on how I wanted to play it. So here's what we've got. Okay, we have zero dollars. We have a pickup and this axe. That's it. That is all we have. I, I wanted to go with a C10 because who who doesn't love a C10? Like an old one. I think it's like a... Uh, I, I won't guess the year. I'm, I, I'm horrible with the years of them. I know this body style. Like, I really, really like it. The only one I like more than that is like 72. I think of what it is. Uh... But anyway, so let's uh, let's hop in here, and let's go ahead and hit escape. We don't own any of this. The only thing that we own is field 16, and it's made of grass. So let's just uh, let's just take a drive. Okay, we'll start. Okay, I was getting kind of worried. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this mod is the uh, engine sounds a little bit goofy, but it's whatever. So yeah, we don't get to start here. Um, that 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 is like my rule. Uh, we're we're not going to start here uh, until we get uh, a lot of money together, and we can buy the surrounding fields. So that's uh, 45, 44, 35, and I guess 36. Once we can buy them, then we can move here. But for right now, this is just a very very nice looking place to be, and we would wish that we had you know all of that stuff. Uh, we don't have any starting equipment besides our axe and our pickup, and yeah. So, I mean, this this whole map's awesome. Don't get me wrong; we will end up here, but for right now, it's uh, this is not ours. This is owned by somebody else, and we're currently trespassing. So let's go to where we're gonna start and talk about things on the way. Now, if I go up here, I keep going, and then I go right. Okay. It's going to take me a little bit. Uh, we're going to play this map three days a week. Um, the West Coast will be uh, still four. So we're going to get back to that rotation. So that way everybody's kind of happy. Because I really do like the West Coast. So uh, that is where we're at with that. So how are we going to play this then? Well, I want to do like the American Dream. You start with nothing and end up with everything is what I would like to do. And we're going to play it times five. And for some reason, I'm negative one dollars now. Thank you for that. I, I guess it's uh, time to pay on the uh, the cost of my pickup and my axe <laughs> or something. Uh, I don't know there. Um, but yeah, that that is what I uh, plan on doing. And we're doing this as a fully realistic series. So... Yeah, no, no cheating, none of that stuff. We don't even have teleport on. We don't have any of that stuff on. But this is such a good map that I couldn't pass it up. And I don't want to see somebody, you know, mess it up. Um, well, I'm not really mess it up, but I, I got a feeling there's going to be a lot of YouTubers, and they're going to do this with like really big equipment. They're not going to have any kind of stake in it or anything like that. So we're doing it a little bit differently. So yeah, um, I don't want to do that field, jeez. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to buy our first tractor. And I'm not going to be, you know, shopping and all that other stuff. Uh, we didn't cheat any of the prices. I downloaded the mods. This is what they cost. I'm going to go out and pass you even though it's illegal to pass. But everything that we get is, you know, things that we will earn. And I think that's going to have, you know, like a lot better uh, stuff on it. And plus, I always like creating my own fields out of like a grass field. That's like one of my more favorite things to do. I've got some pretty interesting older equipment. And I'm talking like older equipment. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's how we're going to roll this. And, and, you know, I'm not going to go through my mod list or anything like that. I want everything to be, you know kind of like we bought it you know it like it's ad, ad bulletin i'm sorry i was in your way sir apparently i don't know so we're gonna go here 
And we don't even get a barn. That, that one's got a barn. I could have picked that one. But no. We're at this little house with a Bronco. So. And that's our one single grass field. So we actually just. Uh, we need to get to work. We need to start doing something. And we're going to take down one of these trees. Right now. Okay. That thing will shut off right. Yes. Okay. So. Hopefully one tree. Will pay. Uh, is that going to hit my truck? If I go like this. Hopefully one tree should pay for our very first tractor. And it has a whole 20 horsepower. But everything on this map is supposed to be um, fairly... Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Fairly American. And now everybody knows I don't play... You know, I, I'm not a farmer or anything. Why well, won't this cut? There we go. So, you know, if if there are mistakes, please tell me that there are mistakes. Don't let me just, you know, keep going and all that fun stuff. I want to do it the uh, the right way. And I know it seems odd to start a farming game and be chopping a tree in the very first thing, but hopefully, here we go. Hopefully, this all makes a little bit of sense whenever we get to it. Now, I'm not in any kind of big hurry. These are not going to be heavily edited episodes. And that just disappeared. Great. Um, but yeah, I, I just want to play the map like I would play the map. So I'm not going to do like a whole lot of, you know, editing and all that fun stuff. I just want to take an hour each day, play the map, enjoy the map. But play it in a way I think that would be, you know, fun for me. Um, mainly because I'm like on this kick where I want to uh, buy a farm. I don't know why I want to buy a farm. I, I shouldn't own a farm. I'm really hoping that this pays for our tractor. Because that would be just awesome. Are those going on there? Yes. Okay. I was like, uh, they shouldn't fall through the bed. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what we're going to do here is just kind of hang out for a little bit. We're going to chop a few logs and our first tractor is orange. I'm, I'm going to let you guess on that for a little bit. Hopefully you guys guess the, uh, the right thing. It's from 1951 and it's orange. So thank you to tractor brands. Think of who made an orange tractor around that time and You'll probably guess what it is. So, and you know, we've got um, like my normal stuff is on. The only thing I don't have on right now is crop destruction because I, I like crop destruction until it comes to destroying grass. That to me makes zero sense. So we're not going to, we're not going to go down that route just for it. Like if I could turn off the, uh, the grass part of it, that would be great. But I can't, so I won't. And of course, we will be, you know, doing jobs for our neighbors and everything like that. So not every day is going to be a boring schlog with old stuff. But I'll be honest, I never see anybody doing anything with, like, any kind of scale to the smaller, older stuff. So hopefully I can do that niche. That would be just wonderful. All right. I really don't like the noise that this truck makes. And that is the clutch pedal. That is not the brake pedal. Alright, so where do I go with this stuff? Sawmill is up the road and on the left. Now, I'm, I'm not planning to do like a full-on forestry operation or anything like that. I just want to start with nothing, you know. Uh, if we need like a big bump of cash to get something, then we'll do a job. You know, we can help out some of these farmers. We can do all that fun stuff. And we may actually do one here in just a minute. And I need past you. Thankfully, I have a small block Chevrolet. And we're not LS swapped either, so we're not like super duper fast. Maybe I can get like the LS swap version. That would be good. So the model on this truck is, you know, really, really good. The interior is actually pretty nice. And... Uh, I'll have all of the mod links down below 
and hopefully, you know, when, well, you only get them once I do them. So <laughs> don't be, uh, don't be out here looking for, you know, uh, an idea of what we're doing and everything like that, because I do, I want it to be a little bit of a surprise on how we're going to do things. I've got some older trailed equipment that is smaller. We're not going to go like a huge field or anything right away. So, uh, we're going to do like little runs of things. I'm going to cut up that field and, uh, you know, just do things in my own way. Okay, where do we go? Is it right here? Can I pull right into it? That'd be great. Okay, so this is wooden timber. And I don't... It normally it comes right out, so... Maybe... Maybe I'm wrong? Okay, that's wood chips. Okay, so it definitely goes back over here. I really don't like the, the engine sound, so maybe the, the truck might be the first thing to go. We'll give us an old, uh, an old Ford or something. Oh, wow, we got a whole 60. Oh, yeah, we're playing a hard mode. Can I put the tailgate down? Yes. Can I, like, just... No, 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 not gonna do that, not gonna do that. We are playing realistically. Okay, so this isn't gonna pay for itself. Hmm. Alright, so we made 300 bucks off one tree, so that's not enough. Hmm. Well, what kind of job do we want to do? We don't want to do anything massive. Let's do something on the smaller end of the spectrum. Hmm. I was really hoping that that would uh, pay for that, but apparently we are, we're not allowed. I, I want to do something for like a grand. I don't want to have uh, like a huge amount of money in anything. Uh, I think, you know, sometimes it's a little bit OP, some of the stuff. So let's just uh, race on past this F-150 because we're fast like that. And we're going to head up to field five. I think that's gonna be our best bet as long as it's not something you know super annoying all right so what is this job hopefully it's not paying too much that is actually perfect if you've got something a little bit less money that would be awesome all right let's start this uh why is my pickup right in the way? That's not good. All right, so doing this little job pretty quick should be decent money. I mean, 1200 bucks, 1264. That should get us what I need to get. And we can actually, you know, start doing something with our life. <laughs> Cause that, that is the key. I want to, uh, want to do something today. I wish there was an option that I could, you know, turn off, uh, you know, like certain tractor brands. Like, we're not going to see a Dosa, we're not going to see Lamborghini, we're not going to see um, Fint, any of that stuff, you know, here. We're going to see New Holland's cases, Fords, John Deere's, um, older Alice, uh, older cases, you know, all that fun stuff. So, you know, I'd like to see a way to have that as like an option that I can just, you know, tick the little checkbox. Hey, don't let me have this, 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 and this, and only let me have, you know, X brands uh, show up as workable stuff. Or even better yet, let me use my own equipment 
and you pay me for the amount of time it would uh, supposedly take for me to run a uh, small little tractor when we get bigger stuff uh, for my uh, for my jobs here that would be that'd be awesome I think be a different way to do things and we should be done here in just a second yes we are thank you oh and I got a time bonus all right So let's head over to the store. I'm going to buy our thing, and then we're going to do a walk around of it, and hopefully you guys actually like it. And you'll kind of see the direction I want to take, because I do want to have this series be more of a progression over an extended amount of time, because this is, like, one of the better American maps that I've seen. So, you know, we're not going to be, like, whizzing and banging out through here. We're not going to be doing this in five minutes, you know. Um, I wanted to have that. We're an older, smaller farm. Or we're, we're not older, smaller. We are a new starting farm. I'm sorry. Okay, for the low, low price of $1,400, we have a WD-45 Alice Chambers. And this little bitty Limpkin Plow. And that's not the one from the mod pack. That is the one off of Mod Hub. So, yeah. I think it looks pretty cool. It definitely fits the style of tractor I was looking for. And it makes a nice little noise. And it's very, very slow. So, let's go create our very first field. And it's very, very slow in reverse. It's like a snail. Hopefully it's not too heavy. No, it doesn't look like it. It's a road crop tractor. Uh, I thought about getting a uh, little bit, you know, wider one, and that will probably be our next tractor. But for right now, I think uh, this suits us well. We don't have the money to buy a cultivator right now, so that's something that we're going to have to uh, work towards. But I think we can get uh, some fields cut out here for us, and we're not using GPS, so it's all going to be done by hand. Everything needs to be, you know, just lined up correctly and all that fun stuff so we also can't afford a worker so we have 500 bucks left uh, the cultivator is 3,900 the one that fits this so uh, yeah that is a little bit out for us but we can create uh, an, a good little little field uh, nothing huge for right now but I think you know something where we can get a uh, crop in the ground and then, you know, we'll just kind of uh, work around it from there, I guess. Uh, these episodes are going to be shorter. Um, I said an hour. I, that I misspoke. Don't don't believe everything that comes out of my mouth. Can I go in reverse, please? There we go. Okay, so if I put this down, what happens? Oh, I do. I get to plow ground. Okay. Oh, it's because I'm actually in the field. Okay, that's good. That texture, though, is very, very odd. How wide do we want this to be? Probably right about there. Been, like, in reverse for a while. It's, it's just faster to turn around, I think. So let's just make our way uh, down this way. We don't want to be over that far. So I'm just going to kind of guesstimate it here a little bit. Don't need a huge field. This is plowing it, isn't it? It doesn't look right. Maybe the, maybe the plowing texture is different? I don't know. It just it doesn't look right. Does it look right to you guys? I, I don't think it. I don't think it looks right. <laughs> uh, how long do we want this to be? A good little one. I mean, we want it to to be kind of profitable. So maybe right about there.
And I do believe that my pedals are doing their classic. You don't get to work because we're going... Apparently we're going one mile an hour and I'm trying to stop and it's not letting me stop, so... Now, I don't believe that this is going to be like a hugely exciting series or anything like that. I honestly just want to play the map. So, you know, you guys know my actual intentions is to, you know, just play this map. So, you know, don't, don't be expecting a lot from it. I just thought I would share, you know, how I'm going to play the map because this is how I like to play. Uh, I'm not like some of the other people. Yeah, let's throw all the big stuff at it right away. I'd rather do things this way and before this map had come out can I have reverse please? Thank you. Uh, before this map had come out I had you know thought about doing it uh, another way which would have been the logging maps where we would have started the same way that we started here but we would have done things uh, you know like cleared out a field area and done everything like that because I think you know that's a lot of stuff that people don't think about when you know they see uh, you know like a farm is most of the farmland has been reclaimed land so I think that that uh, I think it'll, it'll be a good reflection of that I wish the texture was right it's uh, not multi-angle it doesn't look like so It'll be alright. We'll figure it out. But we've got our little field here. I don't know how big it is, but we'll be able to take a look and see just how much we're going to get done. But I think besides, you know, doing cuts where you know is applicable you know just like driving somewhere yeah I'm gonna cut that but most of the uh, most of the stuff is not gonna be edited like that I want to do it well kinda like I'm doing it right now you know we're, we're cutting in this field and we're just kinda winging it you know we do need to go make some money we'll chop down a couple more trees uh, we'll do it that away until we can get because we need a harvester a sower cultivator um, we need a way to fertilize what we're doing so I'm gonna do this like this it seems to be a little bit faster so you know we need to buy all the equipment so we will be you know doing some things and just kind of uh, moving along But I can tell you right now that this map is probably going to be a long runner for me. Unless something, you know, absolutely happens. Like if I die or something like that. Because it's just, I don't know, I get a, a certain feeling from the map that I really, really, you know, like every once in a while I get that feeling on a map. And, you know, the West Coast is pretty good. Um... Altenstein is always my favorite. Everybody knows that Altenstein is my favorite. So I kind of get almost the same vibe, even though it's a much, much larger map. Um, it's more... I don't know. It's just, like, to me, a better, a better map. <laughs> and unless I'm imagining things, these are new textures for the plowing. And... I thought that they looked junk, but now that they're kind of going in, I wish that there was like multi-terrain angle, uh, so it would plow the direction that I'm going. Uh, maybe I'll post on that and see if that is something that can uh, be fixed in an update, but, or it could be the plow I'm using. I don't know. It's uh, a mod pile, so you never know what you're going to get with it. But I think we'll do a nice little cereal here. Probably like wheat. That way we can uh, 
bail it and get rid of it. And, you know, all the, all the animals and everything, they're off limits too. They've got their own farms, so we're going to be... Uh, I, I want to do the sheep first. I, I Everybody knows I like sheep. So we'll be focusing on the the sheep farm. Uh, cow farm is pretty good. The pig farm is amazing. It's actually up this way, I think. It is. If you look... Um, Okay, you see the sawmill wood chips up there by field 19? If you go directly south of that, that clump of buildings is where the pig farm is. And it's set up really, really nice. So, yeah, we'll be, we'll be doing that. We'll be doing all the, all the animals, hopefully, just on a much smaller scale. But we have to, you know, I don't know why I turned this. Is that the correct way? Keep one in the front. Maybe it is. Maybe I've been doing this wrong. This looks... I don't know. It's... Am, am I, like, got the thing not unfolded or something? Hmm. Now I'm second-guessing myself. That's bad. Oh, well, it's, like, directly behind the tractor anyway, so what does it matter? But I do think I've got something for everybody uh, for the map. You know, I've got some John Deere's picked out. I've got some cases picked out. Uh, I'm not going to let y'all know what the size is. I've got some other brands picked out. Um, trailers, trucks, all that fun stuff. You know, we, we're going to we're gonna mark it up and hopefully everybody is okay with what I've chosen. I, I really do hope. I, I, I like... I depend on y'all's feedback, you know, if I'm doing something the incorrect way and nobody tells me, then I don't know. I mean, I don't have the ability to know what goes on in these farms or anything like that. I can only, you can only Google so much, you know. <laughs> so, moving, uh, you know, like how big things are, how, how, you know, what you would use and what. We're going to try to match up equipment for the size of fields and everything that we have. But, you know, I still want it to be interesting, you know, with a diverse set of equipment. You know, we will have some newer stuff. We're definitely going to have some older stuff. But I think when it's all said and done, I think that we're going to have a pretty... Uh, diverse farming setup from what I normally do because I normally just follow like the same old routine buy things you know, start with money start with starting do the thing you know do the thing again and you know while that's all well and good and a lot of fun it's not how I normally play the game off camera I normally play slower like we're going today I'm not in any rush. I'm not going to beat a time clock. Uh, and I think that that's what a map like this deserves is just work. You know, you go to the map, you do the work. And I have messed around with a, a, a good little chunk. And I can honestly say, you know, it's it's good. If, if you are actively playing the game right now, you need to play this map. Um, everything on it is set up really, really nice. It, the performance is amazing. Uh, you all know how much I gripe and moan about performance. And I have so many mods loaded onto this map. And I, I, I put every everything I was going to buy. I put it all out there. I, I bought everything. Put it all in that parking lot. 60 FPS. Stable. Just no mess ups. Nothing weird. Nothing odd happened. You know, we just come in and it was dead solid. So I can honestly say that the performance is there. But it's made by Bullet Bill. So what do you do? I mean, the man makes some of the best maps for Farming Sim. So. And I'm really, really looking forward to his uh, map in Ireland because 
if it is the same level as this, then it's going to be absolutely amazing. I think him and Oxygen David are working uh, together on it as well. There is seamless transitions in this map. We'll, we'll go take a look at them here just in a second. Let me get this field plowed in, and we'll go and take a good gander at uh, some of like the stuff. Because I ran into the barrier. I'm like, why Why can't I go here? <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, that, that's that's the edge. That's the, ed that's, that's the end of the map. And... You know, it's just... It's so well done. But I definitely wanted to get my hands on it before everybody else had their own take. Um, I'm not too thrilled with the way some of the... I mean, like, I watched the Sim Station. He's doing a good job. Um, but some of these other YouTubers, they're just... They're not doing the map justice. They just throw whatever they want to throw in it. They don't really talk about the map. They're just kind of doing the same thing that they always do. And I honestly feel that this map is a special occasion that should be uh, done differently. I, that is what I honestly believe. So, that is why we're here plowing with a one quarter of a meter wide plow with uh, an old WD-45. So, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Honestly, it's just how it is. And you know, yeah, it's going to take a while to get some stuff and I can see some people getting bored watching and everything like that where I'm not going to do like a lot of time lapses and everything, but I think for, you know, for this it's okay. I'm fine with that. How big do you think this is? I'm thinking half a hectare. If I was going to guess. It's uh, it's not a very big field. I think it's going to do us good. Uh, we'll probably make a couple grand. You know, Well, no, we're on hard. I don't really know the, uh, the selling for hard or what the output's like or anything like that. I mean, it's going to be fully harvested or plowed, cultivated fertilized, all that fun stuff. So hopefully, you know, we get a little bit of cash, and that would be awesome. But uh, I'm honestly, if we make like a couple grand off of this one little field, I will be very, very surprised. One last little bit. Alright, so let's go park this in the shed. Because we don't even own a barn. <laughs> we might buy a placeable, uh, a placeable lean to at one point. But that is our first field created on uh, Lone Oak Farm. And that just uh, that tickles me. I could fit the pickup in here. Huh. Okay, well, I guess it's going to sit outside. It doesn't like the shed. I put the pickup in inside, and it wasn't an issue, so... Maybe we can at least back it in? Give me that, at least. Come on. Nope. Hmm. Okay. That's fine. Uh, anything else we want to do today? Uh, how much is this going to pay out? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Wait, what? Yeah, that's 38 grand. Yeah, we could do that, sure. But that would take forever. <laughs> so let me go, uh, let me go get the pickup and we'll take a final drive around. That's where we're going to end today. Okay, so if we come down here, we were just at field five, right? We could do work in field six or seven. I'd like to do something that's not, you know, spraying. 
And anytime now. Right here it is. That, that's the map border. <laughs> you see why? I was like, oh yeah, it's just the, the normal stuff. So why am I having trouble? You know? Well, why is this like this? Let me see here. What do we got going on here? What is what is our growth? Does anybody have something that is needing plowed? That's cultivated. Field 35 and 44. No. Won't do those. Field 23. How do I get there? Down the road. Hang a right. And it's down that way. Let's head there. See what's see what's what. You'll zing past everybody here. Steering's a little quick on this truck. So we go right here. Oh, this is the uh This is yeah, this is where the cows are. Couldn't remember. Yeah, this is uh this is the cow farm. Lona, uh, no, the sheep farm. I'm sorry. Uh, I messed up twice there. How do I get over there? Hmm. Well, we can definitely work on getting this then. I think that should be our first goal. It's got a barn. It's got a nicer house than ours. How do I get over there? Is there like a path? Or do I gotta go up a street? I am honestly at a loss for words. Can I go this way? If I open the gate, can I just drive through the grass? Drive through the field, it doesn't matter. All right, so there's that. Was there a gate down here I missed? Oh, there was. I wasn't paying attention. Wait, no, it's inside the sheep bin. I'm confused. All right, let me get this over here out of the way, and this will be the last thing that we do, so we get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of cash to us. How do I get... Okay, I go through that gate in through here. Okay, not, not bad. Not horrible. Got something cheaper. Don't need four grand. All right, we'll do this. We'll do it with this. All right, so that is something I need to report. The um, position of some of the workers is a little bit odd. Like, uh, things are facing the wrong way on some of the fields. Alright, let's get this thing turned on. Uh, I need to unfold everything first. Okay, it is gonna swath. Good. But I really do hope you guys enjoy the series. Like I say, it's going to be kind of a less editing, less, you know, kind of deal. I know I've said it like a million times already, but, you know, sometimes that's what people want to watch. They don't want to watch time lapse. They want to watch uh, somebody, you know, think while they're doing the entire episode, you know, things to think about, talk about, philosophies, all that fun stuff. So that is, although I'm not the best at that, I'm like really not even like close to the best at that, but I will try for you guys. I'll try. I don't know why it gave us nine minutes to do this. I'm almost halfway done. That's ridiculous, really, when you think about it. Hmm. Oh, well, what do you do? If you didn't know, I'm back to using the wheel, too, so it's kind of a win-win. 
I uh, got all my stuff back on my desk. My desk is all... Everything's kosher now. I'm <laughs> back to my zen. Because everything was so just messed up uh, when we went on vacation. And if you didn't know, my basement got flooded while we were, uh, while we were away. Uh, where I live got so many inches of rain. I think it was like seven or eight inches of rain while we were gone. And it just didn't let up. We had a... I mean, we've, we've always had the sump pump in the basement. And uh, landlord came over, was fisking our stove, <laughs> and made the call to us while we were, you know, out and about uh, in West Virginia and goes, uh, yeah, the basement's flooded. And the first words were, what happened to the sump pump? Uh, it was on and running. I just couldn't keep up. And, yeah, that sump pump is not a little one either. Uh, it pumps through a two and a half inch hose. So it's a little bit bigger one. <laughs> And it still couldn't uh, couldn't handle it, so it is what it is. Uh, I think we ruined one rug that was down there in the uh, like the guest area downstairs is where we normally keep company. Uh, we 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 lock them up in the dungeon, but uh, you know we have like a, a bed down there and some you know, like a TV. It's got a full bathroom, all that fun stuff. So our hostages are always comfortable and won't try to run away all the time. Uh, we, we don't even have a basket for the soap. So, you know, we just send it down the laundry chute and they don't have to give it back. We don't hit them with a hose or anything. So they should be very, very thankful to us for being nice. But yeah, we lost one rug, uh, a few of the Christmas decorations, which were in a separate part. That were in like cardboard boxes instead of uh, um, what do you call them? Rubber made, like the the totes. They weren't in totes or anything, so they got pretty wet. And other than that, uh, a little bit of water stains. Uh, we got like two inches down there or something. Other than that, it was fine. So got a dehumidifier running down there like 24/7 since we've been back. And I can't tell you how many times I've emptied it out. It's just, you know, it happens. Things happen. Yeah, I, I should have checked how big our field was. I'll do that here in just a second. All right, there we go. A lot more money than what I was expecting to make today. I thought hard, uh, like, nerfed that. Like, very, very, like, a lot. I Honestly, I thought that's what it was. Oh, I don't like how that opens. That's one of them ones that should open, you know, toward the inside, I think. But that's just my opinion. So let's uh, get this open and get out of here. And I think that's where we're going to end it. We've got enough. We can buy uh, an implement when we uh, first start in the next episode. So that'll be a good little cushion. And we'll come back over here and do some more work for that lady that way we can buy that field because again we're going to buy the fields that surround an area before we use it so uh but we're not going to do that sugar beet harvest uh-uh nope cannot make me no way no way am i doing that now if i got to use like the the 650 maxim or something like that or the what what the hell was that thing i used uh i just used it on uh on the pig farm but uh yeah, unless we do like that, then yeah, we'll get it figured out. And there's not going to be custom thumbnails for each one of these, so just keep an eye out for the one I make. And we're going to kind of uh, wing it off of that. So let's uh, stop this thing. Let's take a look at our stats. Stats. Sown. Fertilize. Nope. Nope. That's .38. No, it does not, um, it's like very small. Okay, if we go, okay, so we fertilize 4.2, so it's like a 0.1 field. It's a 0.12 field. Uh, I don't know how big that is in actual acres, but that is a 0.12 of a hectare right there. That's it. That is our first field, so should be good to go. All right, guys, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Everybody, have a good fourth, by the way. Uh, I don't know if you'll watch my video 
uh, that day or not. So I'm probably going to tell you two or three times to have a good 4th of July and uh, be safe out there and everything. And we'll talk to you uh, in the next one.